All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Epic Manager. I have no idea what this game is. Austrius, the peaceful land you know now was once a war-torn battlefield between the many kingdoms of the realm. After the kingdoms were unified, the resulting peace left countless soldiers without work or pay to bring home food for their families. Out of necessity, some decided to create adventuring parties that would travel the world in search of quests. But unscouted quests, dim-witted adventures searching for glory and mismanagement of equipment led to many gruesome deaths. That's when the first agencies were created. By governing these agencies with a centralized association, the adventurers were granted rights, paid contracts, and certain even grew to become celebrities. All the while, Agencies were taking all the credit and stuffing their pockets with incredible sums of gold. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Like any good story, it starts from humble beginnings. In this case, the annual rookie draft. Okay, I... It's an adventure manager, I guess. Makes sense. Epic manager, create your own adventuring party. So this is actually a, a kind of game that I've been looking for for a while, sort of. I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be it, admittedly. We'll find out, but uh, I don't know. I, I guess I'm keeping my mind open and my, my hopes high, regardless. And the game might have crashed. Well, skip ahead till it actually works. Okay, uh, hi. So, let me just grab a pen and paper. Okay, so what's the name of your agency? Someone just took the Giggling Gorgons. Just think of something else. I want to see if this works. Okay, so name agency and crest. So, let's see, secondary color, pattern. Let's figure out our pattern first. These are all really boring patterns for a crest, let me, let me tell you. I guess X might not be so bad, but I don't know. All these are stupid. Eh, that kind of looks okay. Okay, so secondary color, we're gonna go... Uh... Ah, they really do not have a whole lot of options here to pull from, do they? Alright, I guess that's it. It will not let me go with the, uh, giggling gorgons. Aw. Funny! But still, okay. Well, we're gonna call this, um... Okay, we're gonna go with Punch Everything Incorporated. They will not let you do Giggly Gorgon. I like that. I like the fact that they say you can't. So, uh, don't. Anyway, so let's, uh, just so the Astraeus Adventuring Association AAA get a better idea of your management style, let's pick a role play. Uh, let's see. While traveling on the road, you see a merchant being attacked by a swarm of angry goblins with spears. What do you do? Um, let's see. You charge the goblins with whatever weapon you find, wait until the goblins leave, and try and heal the merchant, or cast a sleeping spell on the goblins and run away. No, charge. Okay, for your services to the crown, the king has offered you, uh, offered to grant you the reward of your choice. What would you ask? Regi uh, become the richest noble in Astraeus, most glorious warlord in history, distribute the riches amongst the poor people of the realm. Most, uh, glorious warlord, uh, in history, I think. Let's see. So, hmm. Interesting. Finally, I need to know what your motivations are. Just don't answer anything that would show you're a bloodthirsty dictator type. The AAA usually frowns upon that type of behavior. Haha! -ha! Okay, excellent. That's all the questions I have for now. Oh man, I should be totally on stage right now. The draft is about to start. You have the third place pick, too. Nice. Go take a seat. Okay. Welcome to the Astraeus Adventuring Association's Rookie Draft. Today, all of the newly licensed managers will take their first step towards becoming the Epic Manager. Now, without further ado, the first pick we have is the Attacking Alphas. And they take 
they take Shovel Knight from us. Okay, they've already chosen Shovel Knight. Excellent choice. I believe there are a lot of jealous managers in the room right now. Shell actually pointed at my screen to point at Shovel Knight, probably to imply I should pick him. Never mind. Okay, now who's lucky pick number two? Let's see, it's the Undergrown Tarasks. I, I have no idea. Tarasks? Uh, Tarask. Yeah, probably Tarask. Okay, they select the Rogue Legacy Knight. Oh yeah, there he is. And within seconds they choose the Rogue Legacy Knight. Oh my, look at those lavish colors. And now, with the third pick, we have our last minute newcomer agency. Who are they going to choose as their first contracted adventurer? Oh, so we actually have a whole host of picks here. So we've got a warrior, a monk, a spell sword, a captain, a ranger, a rogue, a druid, a thief, a warlock, a witch doctor, a mage, a priest, a paladin, a smuggler, a sorcerer, or a bard. Um, I think I'm going to lean on... Oh, hello. Electric ineptitude. Penalty to... Okay, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. The reduction to the agility stat is a bit rough. What's this guy? Oh, so we should probably go with a character that actually doesn't suck. Uh, I, know, I know I'm Punch Everything Incorporated, however, this monk sucks so hard. Okay, so let's see, Goblophobe. Let's go with somebody that actually has, you know, good, good quirks. Quirks? No, quick, uh, traits. Uh, let's see, so let's see what else we got. Shell's pointing at Warlocks and Witch Doctors and stuff. Bun punch Everything Incorporated doesn't have, uh have any of these people. Okay, uh, let's see. Fast Learner, Gregarious, Confident Combat. You might as well talk out loud. The microphone's gonna pick you up regardless. Chest beard? Does that mean that his beard goes down to his chest? Or that his chest oh. grows a beard? <laughs> I didn't even notice. I didn't even look at that. Okar Chest Beard. That's... That's a name. I'm probably not gonna go with him, though. Because I mean, I'm trying to pick all the characters with like the okay stats or like no negatives, just because I'm lazy. So I think we're gonna go with Kaskin, Kasdan Snake Cut, even though he's got, he he doesn't just punch things, but that's okay. Oh, uh, let's go with this. Okay, so we get Kasdan Snake Punch. Should have probably looked at the Paladin, come to think of it, but whatever. Okay, superb choice. Best of luck to all of you on your adventures. Now who's next? Oh, I get another one. Oh, I see. I see. Who's next means, like, we don't get another person. We just get, uh... Uh, it just means the next manager after me. Okay, so, welcome to Astraeus. Congratulations on landing your first agency license, and well done drafting your first adventure. Before you begin, there are a few things you should cover, uh, to make... Uh, we should cover to make sure you'll be up and running in no time. Your goal is to become an epic manager. To merit the style, you make your way to the top of the epic league while avoiding elimination. To begin your journey, the Bronze League... Along with the 11 other beginner agencies. Ah, reading out loud. Makes me sleepy. So, time is a precious asset. Your agency's road to epicness will unfold in turns, each representing one week in Astraeus. Turns are split into two phases. The action phase, make choices and give orders, and the resolution phase, orders are carried out by your parties on the map. Whatever happens, you should always try and make the most of each turn, and remember that idleness is your worst enemy. Let's see, league progression is critical to your success. At the beginning of every trimester, three months, the bottom two agencies in every league will be eliminated. At the end of each year, 12 months, the top three agencies in every league are promoted to the next league. Fame determines your current league ranking. Gaining more is the one thing you should never stop pursuing. Failure to do so would re result in your league rank dropping, and you could soon be facing elimination. Now I have hiccups. First yawns, now hiccups. What's next? Uh... Farts, just non-stop farting. Okay. Uh, you gain fame by negotiating new contracts, discovering new locations and other means, but mostly by completing quests. Quests are the best way to acquire fame. Deployed parties should always be chasing after quests, and you acquire new chess, chess quests by prospecting them. Make sure to replenish your quest log frequently. Quests can also be scouted, giving you further information about the threat they present and the rewards they hold. Adventurers, the assets on your fields. Okay. Um... The backbone of every prosperous agency, adventurers are willing to brave all dangers for a fee. As a manager, you have to negotiate and sign contracts with many of them. Some will rise to greatness, while others will surely 
meet a terrible end. Each adventure is unique and not all of them show equal potential. Some adventurers can also learn, learn new classes and skills as they level up, making them more versatile. Salary cap, signing an adventure takes up salary cap, space equal to his weekly salary. As your agency's license level increases, so will your maximum salary cap. Gold, wildcard resource, you'll pay for almost everything with gold each week. All of your adventurer's wages will be deducted from your treasury, so plan ahead and make sure you don't go bankrupt. Keep in mind that bench adventurers cost 50% of their contract cost as they are working for the agency during that time. Gain more gold by completing quests or selling unused items. Staying on track, follow objectives. Portals, moving around quickly. Whenever one of parties discovers a new capital city or village, you'll be able to purchase a new portal at that location. Parties can only be deployed, disbanded, or camp at a portal or your HQ. Same goes with the Equipping adventurers. In the presence of the gods, people of Astraeus believe that many old powerful uh, believe in many old powerful divine entities. All adventurers in the realm are devoted to one of them. At any given time, the influence of one god may be stronger than the others, granting specific bonuses to those who uh, worship him or her. All the tools you need: scout points, renewable resource. That's not even spelled right. There are these are required to execute important scout actions. So every time you make uh, your uh, Every turn will make you consider your priorities before using them. Each week, your supply of scout points will be replenished. Unused scout points do not carry over to the next week. Scout actions, matter of choice and timing. Let's see, so we can pro prospect new quests, launch recruitment campaigns, visit merchants, buy new portals, sign new staff members, scout active quests. Uh, and I have a manager toolkit. Uh, let's see, these don't require scout points, managing the upgrades, monitoring your league placement, consulting your quest log, manage your roster, parties, and lot. Uh, yeah. That's okay. Agency panel, top left corner, uh, lets you manage various license and tech upgrades, upgrade costs, special points, which are acquired by gaining fame. A special visual indicator will appear when you have unspent points to assign. Hints on their info windows. Uh, use the buttons located on the top right of your dashboard to toggle between hints and other useful windows. Mouse over tool tips, consult Wikipedia. Okay, so, uh, we're... If, I'm just beginning, whatever. Okay, so, for, uh, faction announcement. A royal summon, Cassius Ironmark. Cassius Ironmark has reached out to your agency for a meeting. He would like to discuss job opportunities for the near future. This quest has been added to your quest log. Okay, so, deploy my newly signed adventure in the world menu. Open the party menu, add adventure to the first party slot. Select party, the party you wish to deploy on the bottom bar and choose the dispatch. So let's go to parties first. Okay, we're gonna add party members, snake cut. Okay, costs nothing. I have no gold. Well, this is good. Okay, select the party you wish to deploy. And we're heading here. How do, how do I? Um. Oh, I see, I have to deploy them here and then we move around. Okay, so complete your first quest. Select the party on the map, click the move icon. Select the party's move a uh, move action to the first question on the world map. Reach the note. Okay. There. Okay, well done. Your party has been ordered to march. You'll reach its destination in a few weeks. For now, simply click and turn and we can get to that quest. I feel like this is a little bit too clunky and the whole tutorial-y stuff is way too too, like, overbearing early on in the game. Okay. Are we there yet? Almost. Let's skip other actions again and simply enter and reach the capital. Like, they really could have fit the tutorial into this section in a little bit smoother of a way. Because currently just reading seven pages of just like, this is what shit is. Oh, that gets cumbersome. Anyway, uh, we received a letter from Cassius Armarks. Okay, uh... I guess proceed, so this is gonna teach us how combat works. Okay, conflict is inevitable. Oh my god. Goal defeat enemy forces. Combat is divided into rounds and turns. Action points. Uh, during their turn, characters use action points to make attacks, perform skills, or use consumables. Combatants will regenerate AP every turn. Uh, and unused AP is carried over. Focus. Pass your turn for more AP. Swing basic attack. Use a consumable item. Perform a skill for from battle. Damage. Obvious. Healing. Obvious. Buffs. Debuffs. Special. Mixed effects. Okay, combat. Uh, physical damage dealt by attacks or skills, determine uh, agility, initiative value also influences chances of dodging basic attacks and landing critical hits with them. Arcane influences damage of all arcane up fire, ice spells, charisma, the amount of AP a character has at the beginning of the first round, and influences how much they will re 
gain every second. Uh, let's see, understanding damage, a question of strength and weaknesses. On top of basic stats, other factors influence damage, such as the attacker's damage bonuses and resistance bonuses of the defenders. These stats are always available for your adventurers, but you'll have to scout a quest to see enemy values. Wounds. Adventurers can be wounded, both in and out of combat. Uh, let's see. Each one can accumulate up to three wounds, and each wound reduces maximum health by 25%. In combat, enemy attacks or skills that remove a significant part of an adventurer's HP will sometimes also leave a wound. Wounds cannot be removed with healing skills. Only resting a party on a populated area or benching your adventures will heal their wounds over time. Well, already at three wounds, any further wound taken will cause the, cause the uh, adventurer to gain a permanent negative trait, reducing all basic stats. Death. Uh, dying is a one-way trip. Any adventurer that dies in battle will be lost forever, but his equipment will be returned to your armory. Contrarily to enemies who die instantly when their HP reaches zero, your adventurers will reach or enter a mostly dead state before dying. Always try and heal mostly dead adventurers as soon as possible, as any further damage taken in the state will result in them becoming all dead, and then it's too late. And then there's status effects and threat. Okay. So this is just to see how dangerous things are. So this is me, right? Okay, can I do one? This guy? Wow, this is... Uh, what now? Am I done? It's got the little arrow thing. That's flee. That's round one. End turn. There we go. I see. I see how it is. Okay, it's my turn. It requires three AP. I guess I'm just gonna focus. Okay, that gets me some AP back, and this is... Oh, boy. Well, I can charge him. And he is dead. Okay. That's a bit rough. That That is basic combat. Holy shit, this has been on 14 minutes and we just finally got to combat. Alright, so we got 750 gold, 25 fame, 1 rep with Cassius Siren Mark, Uncommon Bronze, Am Bronze Amulet, 75 VXP gained by all party members. Gotcha. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna click on- nope, never mind, we're on turn 3. Okay, click on the portal icons to action bar. Activate a new dispatch. Oh, I see. So that was three total. Okay, so now we gotta do a recruitment campaign. Street scouting, which costs... Uh, candidates one to two, campaign costs one scout. Oh, I see, scout point. So they're there. Okay, so we can get Frostmourne, Fist Bash, or Simple Cut. I want to take a look at this guy. Uh, what are his skills or stats? Character traits. Electric fortitude. Doesn't look like he's got any negatives. Frostmourne yes. Frostmourne is totally a, a WoW reference. Okay. Using items, items in combat. So, as simple cuts tempting, I think I'm going to go with Ikar Fistbash just because he's his name is too appropriate for what we're doing here. Um... Oh, interesting. Yeah, you can get extra classes here. And then, probably don't care about him too much. I mean, the bonus to the charisma stat is kind of okay. Yeah, so let's go with Fist Bash, just because it's just too... too appropriate for what we're doing here. Okay. Can I get the rest of the guys? Sure. Okay. Because all of these guys have okay, uh, okay traits. Maybe not, uh, Crow Frostmourne, just because we don't want to hit the maximum. Let's see. Yes. Okay, well done. Where, Whenever possible, use your weekly scout points before ending the turn to perform important actions, such as recruitment. Your party is now on an active waypoint. If you manage to assign new recruits, now would be a good time to add them to your deployed party. You should also use this opportunity to equip your party members with better gear if you found any when you're done order the party to reach the second quest okay so for starters how's we negotiating your first contacts can't pay your adventures the adventuring agency will pay them that week but it will cost you some fame and the AAA agency won't be happy with you don't forget the pension adventures will only cost you 50 percent of their salaries every week so we're gonna have uh, generally a small party if possible okay so let's just throw everybody on the party so we've got Snake Cut, Simple Cut, Fist Bash. And we have enough money so we shouldn't have to worry about this too much. 
Let's see. Skills. So he's got charge. 66 damage. Let's see. Oh. Heal an ally with divine light. That's useful. And blood offering. Ah. Interesting. So he hurts himself, but he gets extra AP. Good to know. Okay. Select a party on map. Select move. Party on map. Move. Here. Okay. So it's a little bit clunky. Moving your troops like a pro. Origin and destination already had active pro rules, so you could have used the teleport command to fast travel your party. This time, though, simple move will do fine. Press end turn. Okay. Where was teleport again? I, I guess we'll go through the forest and stuff. Random encounter. Okay. Uh, let's see. The party is sitting by the side of the road for a midday lunch when someone appears before them in a puff of purple smoke. He seems a bit confused for a second and looks at you. Hello there, my name is Wabio. I'm a member of the Magic Arcanum, and today is your lucky day as I need a bit of gold and have a wondrous gift in exchange. He gives a nervous glance at his surroundings and keeps going. For a mere thousand gold pieces, I'll make one of you gifted. Ah, uh, accept the offer. Gifted trait was obtained by C. Snake Cut. Hey! I don't know what gifted does. Let's figure it out. Okay. Uh, he was shifty, but we got it anyway, so we'll figure it out. They seem to have picked up a backseat gamer. <laughs> okay, so how do. Oh, I can't manage my team until we actually. Uh, until we actually get back to town. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, so, proceed. I really want to manage the party and figure out what gift it does, but I guess I have to fight something. I probably should have read the, uh, the quest information on this one. Oh, well. I'm not- oh, right, end turn. Oh, that's clunky. Oh, this is so clunky. Okay, so blood offering, use item, or basic attack. Let's see, uh, it does an okay amount of damage with his basic attack, so I guess we- I guess we're fine. Oh, shit, he just picked up a wound. Okay. I wonder if you... No, no, wounds can't be healed through magical means. Okay, so let's end. He can't heal. We're gonna have to end, too. Oh, and of course we're bleeding. Okay, he's gonna have to focus. We can't heal. I'm gonna just keep hitting this guy. Ow! This guy's a jerk, and I want nothing to do with him or his or his stuff. Okay, there we go. Don't die. That would suck. Does that get rid of the? Does that get rid of the bleeding? The answer is no. That sucks. Okay, luckily it doesn't have much HP left. However, that wasn't quite enough. Or that. Or that. Okay, there we go. Close enough, but that actually, that was actually a little bit more hurdy than I thought it was going to be. Okay, note to self, read more of this. Okay, so his, the adventurers bring back proof of the bullies. To, uh, end to the nobleman. He expresses his gratitude. Thank you kindly for your help, friends. Rest assured, I will pull whatever strings I can for Cassius at the council. With a nervous laugh, he retreats back into his manor without a backwards glance. Okay, so we get a lot of gold, some fame, reputation with Cassius Ironmark, and EXP for everybody. Which apparently doesn't level up Sea Snake Cut. Oh, wait, it does. Never mind. Okay. So we can do extra defense. Or chance to stun target. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to go with the chance to stun target. That seems more reasonable. Okay, so next we're probably going to want to heal. Uh, so we've got quests. Prospect. Prospect quests. Thing is, it doesn't let me do anything else. Alright, so we've got grass is, uh, let's see, Hildrick's Grass is Greener, Mercenary Games, or Big Bad Boys. Uh, let's see. So what are these things? Job opportunities. Interesting, so by doing this one. Oh, what? There's Hildrick Iron Mark. I didn't know there would be two of them. Okay, so this one on the bottom, Big Bad Boys, seems like the, the most basic of all of them, and possibly the easiest. So we'll probably want to do that one. Okay, so let's add that that quest. 
Can I add all of them? I can. Okay, that's kind of useful, because now I can kind of figure out what we're going to do. Because we got this goblin quest over here, but it's a ways away, and I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, so can I hide these objectives? The answer is no. And these are completely separate ones. And it looks like we've kind of been let loose on the wild. So for starters, we don't have anything I can do yet there. Can I do recruitment? Street scouting, launch campaign. No, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to end a turn here. Yes. Let's see if that solves the uh, the wound problem. There we go. Okay, so we needed that to happen anyway. And let's look around. So we've got this one. How do we warp? Okay, so I can teleport to that one immediately. Cool. Next up, we're gonna do recruitment, street scouting. Okay, so we've... That's a druid. Uh, let me see. So we've got a druid... A... That's another warrior. This is a druid. And this is another warrior. Okay, so let's, let's get the druid. I don't know what this does. Nature's Hand. Oh, also a healer. Okay, I'll take it out. Oh, maybe not. Uh, let's see. I mean, it's not terrible. Alternatively, New Wolf Longwater uh, is just straight up actually good here. So I'm probably going to go with this guy just because. Okay, paid up front. Salary is 27 gold. Contract duration is set to 24... Okay. Well, that's fine. So now we got four people. That's fine by me. So let's grab New Wolf. And how do we do equipment? Ah, here we go. We don't have anything. I thought I got an amulet looking thing. Maybe it's only for, like, Fist Bash. No. I have nothing. I have nothing in my inventory, presumably. Roster, parties, inventory. We have this. Okay, that's my current highlight. How do we... How do we do equip? Current kit. Current... Oh, current accessory. Okay. Well, that's... That's how that works. Okay, I don't see anything else to do, so I guess we're just gonna head for this farm. And in turn. So, except for the clunkiness and the slowness of the tutorial, I actually do like this game. Um... I wish the, the battle... Oh... Damn, I'm glad I got extra people. This is a problem. Okay. So we're gonna need to... Let's see. I'm actually gonna start by charging up everybody. Instead of wasting my time. Here a bit. Okay. So sadly, this guy can't do too much. I'm going to start going for this thief-looking guy. He looks like the, the most dangerous. Okay, but I'm going to have everybody just get some AP. And let's charge the thief. He's dead. Okay. Well, that worked out better than I could have asked for. And we still have some uh, AP here. Does this have a cooldown? Doesn't look like it. All right, I'm going to end turn. Oh, my god. These guys are very dangerous. Uh, this one. Okay, and turn. Heal him. I don't know if it'll keep him alive, but I hope it will. We don't have any consumables here. At least he's bleeding. And he's mostly dead. Ow! I get the feeling we... He's all dead. Okay! I get the feeling we wildly bit off more than we can chew. I... Guess we just have to deal with this sort of thing. Okay, so now he's bleeding. I could go for heals. We could just work on murdering this guy. Oh, he's bleeding again. Okay, let's wait. Charge him. And he should bleed to death on the next round. Okay. There he goes. And it's just one last guy who could single-handedly murder me pretty effectively here. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Okay, we got him. Okay, he's mostly dead, but he's not bleeding this time. 
Let's charge him. Oh, I see. This character. And let's just hit him. Okay. That was a harder quest than I thought, and we lost our warlock. Maybe I should have scouted said quest. Okay. Well, that sucked. But I guess it worked out. Sort of. I'll have to keep this in mind for the future. Okay. AP cost reduced for healing or resistance buff. I'm gonna go with the AP cost reduction. I'm not sure how useful it is. Okay. So gold's looking good. There's a mine up ahead. I'd like to find some kind of city or warp point to stop at. Well, one way or another, we're gonna head back. Party. What's this? Teleport. Let's see. Okay, no waypoints available. I wish the portal -y stuff was a little bit more obvious. Okay, so let's let's head back. We're apparently low on people. Okay. Breaking bread, Gorkoth. The party was just about to stop and set up camp, and a man's voice calls out to them. Hey you! Yes, you adventurers! Come join us by the fire. We've got food, drinks, and stories galore. The man calling out for the party seems to be a guard captain from Cassia's Armark. Alright, uh, let's accept the generous offer and listen to the the stories. Okay, we get extra reputation. And uh, S Simple Kick gets Orc Slayer traits. So I guess you get torn, uh, Torns. Uh, you get traits galore along the way here. Well, let's do another street scouting recruitment drive, seeing as that's a problem. Well, that was a problem. Okay, so a straight up healer might not be a bad idea. Let's see, does he have anything bad? Damage penalty against goblins. And reduction in stats from accessories. That's rough. What's this guy? Kind of worse. What about still water? Okay, I guess I'll go with True Brew for the time being. It's not much, but I'd rather have... I'd rather have a full party than not. Even if it does cost me a little bit extra dosh. Uh, so let's think. We've got this one up here. Maybe we should go for that. So why don't we... Why don't we warp here and start moving for this place? Because that'll give me a teleport point, plus it looks like it's something I can walk to. Doesn't look like there's any shops that I, I have available. Disband. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like shopping's available. Oh, I see. We have to get a, a merchant's thing. Okay, well, that's fine. Anything happened to the mine? Random encounter. Okay, Mines of the Void. Crossing through the mines, the party spots an immense vein of silver. If they can somehow break off a piece, it would be quite luc lucrative. Uh, we can break it off with a weapon. Uh, sure. Seems like it has the highest base chance. Click die to roll. Success! Hey! Okay. I, I like the D&D elements here. I kind of wish it was maybe a little bit more D&D. And see Snake Cut now has the Spelunker perk. Cool. Okay, the alignment of constellations favor the god Astorus. His era has begun. Those who worship Astorus will now channel, channel his strength. It's a friendly, friendly reminder the current league's trimester, trimester will end in four weeks. Keep in mind the bottom two in the league will be eliminated and have their agency license revoked. I'm currently in position one. Oh, well, that's not worrying. Oh, good. We don't have any, uh... We don't have any... Worries here. So Hildrick's grass is greener. Hildrick Ironmark's camp has noticed our current involvement with his brother. He wishes for us to meet with his representatives in order to assess our agency's power and perhaps give us a few jobs in the future. Beware though, Hildrick has many enemies, most notably his brothers, and they will know of our arrival in his capital. Let's scout the quest. Thief, rogue. Alright. Seems reasonable. Oh yeah, this is... I'm not going to say this is chump change, but I think we'll be fine. Alright, let's have all of our warriors just charge up. We're going to we're gonna just hit that thief as hard as we can go. Okay. Oh, healing circle heals the whole party. Good to know. However, it costs 9 AP to cast. Damn! Maybe that's not so great. I guess we'll just hit this thief with the... Never mind. We'll try and hit that thief. Okay, and it's probably good that I'll save up healing for the... Okay, that's gonna get frustrating. 
Well, we might as well heal the whole party. Puts me back almost at full. Yeah, keep us above wounded if possible. So are we stunned? Is there... There's no indication... Oh wait, here we go. Penalty to all resistances. Ah, that's not a problem. Okay, let's see if I can charge this guy. Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can charge him twice. And there he goes. Okay, makes my life easier. Oh, that's, that's where you see how much AP he has. Ow. Well, at least wounds are not exactly what I call the most dangerous of things. Like, they're kind of frustrating to deal with, but honestly, it's just a little bit of time wasted, and there's no real rush with this game. For the most part, as long as they don't suck too much. And I think after a certain point in this game, we get a bunch of just randomly generated quests that we can rely on. Okay. So, Cast and Snake Cut can get... Extra physical damage uh, in combat, or extra physical resistance in combat. Uh... I'm gonna go with physical resistance. The damage is nice, but we take too much. We'll go with chance to stun target, because that's important. Okay, and turn 10. Agency leveled up. Okay, so let's do research. This is the research panel. As your agency grows in fame, you will obtain agency levels and research points. These research points can be used to unlock new agency perks. Once you've gained enough fame, you will also be able to buy your next agency license. This will automatically augment your salary cap, your quest log's capacity, and give you new research options. So don't forget to keep an eye on the top left of your manager screen to see if you have any unspent research points. So we've got a grand total of... What is this? One man army. Uh, train one of its contracted adventurers as the agency's champion. The extra motivation will help this adventure progress faster than usual. Okay, fast travel one. Let's see. Portal limit plus one. Marketplace. Uh, track merchants to our HQ. That's really quite tempting. Or lastly, training grounds. Hired staff will help the agency in various ways. So, I think we're going to start with merchants, then we'll do champion. Because buying equipment seems like it's going to be the most useful thing here. Okay. Uh, enter the blacksmith. I can... Um... So these are... What exactly? There really needs to be some kind of guide on that one. Alright, what quest do we have? We don't have anything. Oh, I see. I can prospect some more quests. Well, let's just wait. Because we don't have anything we want to do. We do get a random encounter. Bitguard. As the adventurers reach a high point in the road, their eyes catch a column of black smoke coming from a f small farm not too far from their current position. As they approach the settlement, a green grim scene is revealed to them. Many farmers are dead in the field, blood spattered, guts ripped open, lum limbs torn from their torsos. The only living thing remaining is a child, covered in blood, standing in the center of the field. Go to the child to ask him what happened. Okay. True Brew is afraid of Knowles. Well, that's okay. True Brew is not a fighter. Okay. Knowles came from the forest, killed mom, dad, uncle, Ben. Everyone's dead. Child's sobbing heavily. They ate my aunt, murdered my family. They're ruthless. I see. We're horrified. Why didn't we go after... I guess we don't get to go after them. But we do get rid of that wound, I think. No. How many wounds do you have, and why haven't we gotten rid of them yet? Okay, well, one, one way or another, we've got... We don't want to do recruitment. We don't want to do quest prospection. I guess let's do the jeweler. Because I have no idea how the last guy worked. Okay, so some of these... All attributes plus 3, initiative plus 5. Heal damage plus 7%. Physical damage plus 7%. Interesting. These are kind of all over the place. Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea to pick up a couple of them. Like, this one's pretty good. This one's okay. I'm looking for the ones that give us direct stats. There's actually surprisingly few. Like, that's an agility one, but I don't have any agility characters. We've got heal damage, plus. But that doesn't really matter as much. Okay, and we're going to pick up that one, too. Okay, why do we want to do that? Let's do equip. 
Let's see, current kit. What's this? Gives the target 15, uh, 50 bo permanent bonus to combat. Oh, damn. Okay, let's go to Kazdin. And let's use that on him. Because that's his physical damage. That's going to be really useful. Okay, so can I... How do I equip these people? Can I not do it in this town? Oh. How many portals do we have? Two out of five. Oh, I see. We gotta come back next week. Well, I guess we're just gonna wait. It's fine. We've got plenty of money and plenty of fame. We're getting a lot of random encounters here, though. And actually, we should end the episode. So as the party's on the road to their destination, they're ambushed. I wanna get rid of my wounds! Okay, whatever. Ow! Damn. Okay, this isn't good. I mean, we outnumber them, which helps, but still. Let's take out this guy first. At least he doesn't have much... Uh, damage? But still jerks him. Okay. So I'm gonna just have him wait. He's our healer. We kind of need him for the specific healing part. At least they're mostly wailing on, on my party leader. Which is good. Keep smacking this guy. And he's bleeding. Okay, that's good. So that's damage 109. Okay, he's down. And we should get another charge. Let's... Yeah, let's heal the party. I mean, really, it's just him, but still. The more wounds we can avoid, the better. Even though we're already wounded, so we're going to need to rest to begin with. And the crit! Okay, useful. Yeah, this game's growing on me. I think it'll be more of a problem once we have mu multiple party members, but that's okay. Beyond that. So what's he get? 5% bonus to the adventurer's healing output in combat or physical resistance let's do physical resistance and reduce the AP cost or skill effect 25% that's probably going to be more useful okay do my wounds go away or is it because we got the random encounter ah, because we got the random encounter we didn't we didn't actually oh camping on an active portal and it only works on an active portal Okay, so now we can camp. If it'll let me? Okay, I don't even know. Uh, well, there's nothing mu much we can do right now. We need to get rid of these wounds. There we go. Okay, so now we understand how that works. Let's see. The year's first trimester is now over. All managers are requested to report to the agency qualifications. Okay, this is probably not great. So I'm right in the middle. So we don't we don't progress, but uh, we we're not screwed either. Looks like there were just two two clans that are just immediately cut. So I think we're kind of safe. I'll have to worry about it, but I'm gonna take this really slow. Oh yeah, there's the giggling gorgons. <laughs> All right, whatever. Uh, let's see, trimester one complete. Four out of twelve. Rank ten or better needed to progress. Hatred and Increased by 25 with all agencies in your league. Agency qualified. License permit renewed for the upcoming trimester. No medal awarded. Okay. Hatred with agencies. What? I'm very confused by that. Oh yeah, we can keep an eye on the league in the, in the future. Or is it always going to? I have no idea. That's going to be really interesting. Uh... Let's see, so we've got one more quest out here. I could probably make it, actually, if we if we warp over. But, you know what? I think we'll be doing that on the next episode. So let's do impressions. This game's 20 bucks, and it's not bad. It's it's definitely a little bit slower and clunkier than most managers. It's kind of like if you combined, like, a management sim game with, uh, I guess, like, Epic Battle Fantasy or kind of any one of those. Uh, the character's a little bit... Uh, expendable, the animations are kind of poor, but overall it scratches a nice management simulation RPG itch uh, that I've been kind of looking for in a game. It does mean it's going to be hellaciously long, but at the same time, that's kind of okay. Uh, I personally like it. If I mean, if you like pretty much any other management D sim RPG thing, like, I don't know, kind of reminds me of Guild of Dungeoneering with a larger party and slightly less merciless combat. Um... But, you know, if you like that sort of thing, I, I think 
this one could actually uh, appeal to you too. And I'm definitely going to aim for a full series on it. It's fun. Uh, so I guess with that, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, I'm, well, I'm probably going to be doing a fair bit more. I'm, I'm going to aim for a full series for sure. So yeah, if you want to see more, hit subscribe. And I guess with that, uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode of Epic Manager. And as always, thanks for watching.